let's see if we can get the data from this web map into QGIS. It's quite common that you see a web map online and you want to get the data to work with it yourself. And if you can't find the download link, sometimes all you've got is the web map. In this case, I can see it's an ESRI web map and I'm going to just inspect the page. You can do this on lots of different browsers. I'm using Chrome, so I'll right click on the map and I'm going to hit inspect. This can be a bit confusing at first if you're not used to it. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to the network section. And you won't see anything here probably until you hit refresh. So I'll just hit control R for refresh. And then I'm just going to, I can sort it by clicking the column header and I'm going to go to query. I could type in query into the filter box here in Chrome, but if I hover over one of these queries, I see a full link. So let me just go to one of the ones I want. So here I click on it and then there's a URL, there's a web address to the right. And yeah, I can see what I'm looking for here. This looks like what I need. I'm looking for something that's got ArcGIS REST services and it's got feature server in the URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the URL all the way up to where it says feature server and I'm just going to copy that and then switch to QGIS. I've switched to QGIS now and I'm going to go to the browser panel and then I'm going to go down to ArcGIS REST services and I'll right click it and hit new connection. I'll call this, well you can call it whatever you like, in this case I'll call it example web map and I'm going to paste in that URL and notice how it ends in the word feature server. So that's what these will typically look like. I'll click OK and then I'll go back to ArcGIS REST servers and I'll expand it. I've added ones previously but here's my example web map. And here is my new layer. If I double click it, we get the points into the map. And now I will right click, export, and I can hit save features as to save it to a shapefile or a geo package. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm saving this as a shapefile. I'll hit save, okay. And now this data from that web map is on my computer and I can open the table and see all the raw data. So it's a little bit tricky at first if you're not used to it, but that's how you can get these data sets from um, ESRI feature server maps into QGIS.